You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. The Richters grinned as lunch. The Mail Online, through Martin Robinson, reports, smiling Harry's wife enjoys brunch with friends in Los Angeles as Buckingham Palace confirms her children have become a prince and princess and line of succession is updated. As it's revealed, she and Harry are expected to attend the coronation of King Charles. A cheery Harry's wife enjoyed brunch at a chic West Hollywood vegan hotspot with friends on International Women's Day, just hours after she and Prince Harry revealed that they wanted Archie and Lilibet to be a prince and princess. Wow, what a coincidence. There she is, revealing the news that they will be prince and princess and that Buckingham Palace has updated the line of succession to demonstrate that. Naturally, that demonstrates that aspects of the royal family are under control. And in those circumstances, that provides her with fuel, the act of the updating of the line of succession. And all of a sudden, she, for the most part, having remained out of public view, coincidentally just happens to be filmed and photographed walking along the street with the rictus grin in full effect. Dressed, of course, in funereal black, with her clodhoppers below on display, the shoes looking as ever ill-fitting, we can see in the pictures that that richest grin is there as a consequence of the delight that she experiences from the fuel that's being received in terms of the outcome of the line of succession change with regard to the titles and, of course, the fact that she's receiving attention from those that are photographing her. She's described as being out with friends. I don't know who the lady in blue is. I suspect she's a member of her staff. But the fact is that we know that Harry's wife doesn't have any friends. She doesn't have any friends in a genuine sense because they are simply appliances to her. But moreover, those that are around her generally don't like her because of the way that she behaves. She has a small group of individuals that tolerate her, largely because they have their own agendas, which they can utilise her for. But she's hardly an individual that engenders a real sense of friendship. And of course, there she is walking along with one person. It's hardly like that she's with a, a gaggle of excited individuals who all think that she is wonderful. Her richest grin is on display, a response, of course, to the control that's being afforded. And naturally, many people have said she looks like the cat that's got the cream. Well, as ever, she can't help herself but be smug because that is one of her default settings as a consequence of when matters are under her control and, of course, when she's in the receipt of the fuel. The article in the Daily Mail continues by explaining The Duchess of Sussex smiled as she left Gracias Madra on Melrose Avenue, a meat-free and organic Mexican restaurant that claims to be born out of love for Mother Earth and reverence for all mothers. She was spotted with Ashley Montahini, EVP of Global Communications of Archwell. So as I suspected, isn't actually a friend. She's just there with somebody that works for her, who has no choice but to attend because her employer has told her that she has to. Demonstration of the fact that Harry's wife has no real friends once again. It came as the Daily Mail revealed Buckingham Palace is making plans for Harry and Harry's wife to attend the King's coronation. Staff organising logistics for the historic occasion have been instructed to include the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in their programme for May the 6th, sources have said. Of course, Harry's wife hasn't yet confirmed whether she'll be attending, and the reason being is she absolutely loves the attention that occurs as a consequence of people speculating about whether she will attend or not, whether she should attend, how that will look, etc., Rather than just do a simple no or yes, she's going to string this out for a while yet because it enables her to draw fuel as a consequence of the repeated speculation about what her intentions are. She has to make it all about her. It's not about the king and his coronation. It's all about the marvellous, magnificent Harry's wife turning up as it goes on in her head. While insiders caution the couple has not yet accepted King Charles' invitation, 
The fact that officials within the Master of the Household's Department and Lord Chamberlain's office are anticipating their attendance is the strongest suggestion yet that the Sussexes could make an appearance. Of course, if they do attend, that could lead to problems for them. See a future video in that regard. That is despite, the article continues, spending much of the last three years throwing brickbats at the monarchy as an institution as well as the rest of the royal family, once again demonstrating the hypocrisy of Harry's wife whereby she deems nothing wrong with insulting and smearing the family and then turning up to the coronation. It's likely what negotiations around what events the couple would attend, where they would sit, what they would wear, and of course their security will go right to the wire. Of course, what also has to be factored into this is the role of Sir Candle. He is likely to be brought out of storage and placed in a particular position to ensure that nobody has to look at the stupid face of Harry's wife throughout the filming of the coronation. Harry's wife, who was wearing £540 white Valentino mules, which didn't seem to fit her, a matching £6,000 Chanel bag, a 3300 Max Mara cashmere coat, a £180 Valentino sunglasses, left with two females before waving to waiting photographers and saying, have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. Assertion of control through pleasantry. After brunch at Gracias Madra, which is well known for its wet burritos, stuffed tortillas stuffed with tomato juice, jackfruit tacos and plantain French toast at up to $15 a plate, the Duchess jumped into waiting 4x4 with tinted windows and travelled towards Monte Shitcho. Why didn't you go on your bike? Hours earlier, the Sussexes revealed their 21-month-old daughter, who they named Princess Lilibet Diana, had been christened at the couple's £11 million mansion in California. It is not known if Harry's wife toasted the announcement with one of the restaurant's 93 types of tequila. Apparently, owing to its popularity, bookings at vegan Gracias Madra can be hard to come by, but the website promises there is always a seat at Love's Table. Look. Its founders, Matthew and Tercy's Engelhart, came under fire from vegans in 2016 when it was revealed that they eat meat. Well, it would appear that they're hypocrites and therefore Harry's wife was in good company attending a restaurant founded by hypocrites because she's a massive one herself. What's the view below the line in relation to all of this and her dining out there and showing off the rictus grin as a consequence of her delight? Well, below the line, the comments won't surprise you to know Sam1256, the cat that got the cream springs to mind. Jojo, the only one I have respect for is Princess Anne. She refused titles for her children, and they've managed. These two twits in America should have done the same, as they've stated. They wanted out of the royal family. They must be the biggest hypocrites in the world. I'm losing respect for Charles, and he should have abdicated and let William take over. Mom in San Francisco. Obviously this was staged. She has no friends and certainly arranged her own paparazzi. Go away, Harry's wife. Nulli Secundus. Comedy of the decade. Carry on, Duchess. Peter. Even though their children have prince and princess titles, you just know Harry and Harry's wife will keep moaning and whining. Laura. She loves the camera. Tom Lobo. Wrong signal. Now the impression the United States is created... Montesicchio is an extension of the monarchy. Take Denmark as an example. Those who will never play a role in the monarchy should not have titles that suggest otherwise. M does 24 So they're happy criticising the institution for everything that's wrong with it, but happy to receive titles. Absolute hypocrites. And I hope they get booed at the coronation. Savaloy. What friends? Firefright 1. Now the Queen has gone, it's time to wind down the monarchy. Charles is a poor substitute for Her Majesty. Duga. I thought they left because they didn't want anything to do with this stuff. No publicity and privacy for the family. A title without any involvement really makes them irrelevant. They're making fools of themselves. Can call themselves whatever they like. Their behaviour and morals are not what's expected of the royal family. Pioneer 9. I have to stop reading these articles. She literally makes me feel ill. Anti-Daily Mail 06. Thank you to the Pats for answering her calls and turning up for her PR shoot. Indeed, once again, stage managed because her popularity is tanking. 
so she has to ensure that some friendly paparazzi turn up to see her leaving the restaurant and so that she can display to the world that, look, I've got my way, they've got the titles, I'm the cat that's got the cream, and then cue Richter's grin. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.